एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम part of the reaction mechanism we have talked about substitution reactions and elimination reactions substitution and elimination often compete with each other and which product you will be going to get depends upon the reaction conditions usually the strong bases favor elimination and whereas the good nucleophile favors substitution reactions if you have a protic solvent sn1 will be favored so that depends upon how you look at the reaction conditions I'm Dr. Manika. Welcome to S Chand Academy. And for more information on such topics such as stereochemistry, reaction mechanisms, you can follow our book by S Chand Publishing. The link to which is given in the description box below. Now moving over to the second part, we will be talking about further kind of the mechanisms of the uh, organic reactions. Let's take addition reactions into account first. so whenever addition happens nothing is going to be getting lost from the molecule but something is added so addition reactions can be free radical electrophilic or nucleophilic so electrophilic addition reactions happen usually on a multiple bond say a double bond or a triple bond the most common type of addition reactions which occur are the type of addition of hydrogen halides to the multiple bond or the addition of halogens so in both the cases you can see that the negative part of the attacking species and as well as the positive part of the attacking species are getting added to the double bond here hcl is added to the propene you can see the positive part of the attacking species you can see the positive part of attacking species is h plus is getting attached to the more less substituted carbon whereas the negative part of attacking species is getting attached to the less substituted carbon atom so this is governed by a rule which is called as the markovnikov's rule say for example see the mechanism of addition of hx to the alkenes so in the first step you can see there is a formation of carbocation which is happening now if markovnikov rule is to be followed the carbocation is getting formed so which carbocation will be more favored the one which is more stabilized and the more stabilized carbocation will be the one which will be more substituted so obviously nucleophile will go to the carbon atom which is less substituted or which has more number of alkyl groups so hence we get the markovnikov's product in nucleophilic addition reactions so if you have to uh, state how you can explain markovnikov's rule so whenever in an addition of an hx or any uh, species happens across a double bond it takes place in such a way that negative part attaches itself to the more substituted carbon atom so if it happens in the case of propene you can get two possible product but this one is not obtained because in this case hydrogen is attaching itself to the carbon which is already having less number of hydrogen atoms so this will not give you a more stable cation carbocation if this is to be happen the carbocation will be this this will be a primary carbocation but if this is to be happen you are getting a secondary carbocation so a secondary carbocation is obviously preferred over a primary carbocation and hence markovnikov's rule is followed during the addition reactions similarly addition of bromine happens to across the double bond if bromine is added in the aqueous medium we get this kind of the product where both oh and br are added these are the few kinds of addition reactions which can which can happen in the organic chemistry leading to the formation of vicinal halide uh this is halide obviously which are formed alkyl halides and this is the formation of alcohols alkenes are formed and diols are also possible through addition reactions all of them will follow markovnikov's rule unless and until you have addition happening through the free radical mechanism so if the addition happens through the free radical mechanism 
then in that case Markovnikov's rule is not followed you get an anti-Markovnikov's product. Why anti-Markovnikov's product? Because here the intermediate is a radical itself. First case, the Br radical is getting attached and uh, the substrate is getting the radical nature. And in the second step, the hydrogen radical is added and then you are getting the product. So the more favored intermediate is the one which gives the more stable radical and that will be obviously the more substituted radical and hence if we have to compare between these two reactions with the HPR and the BR radical so with the HPR you know that the intermediate is carbocation so you have to have at a more stable carbocation and hence two bromo Propane is the product. However, if the reaction happens with the Br radical, Br attaches itself in the first case and the intermediate is a alkyl radical. So, in this case, secondary alkyl radical will be more stable as compared to if you get the radical over here. Right? So, here obviously the preferred product is bromo propane, not 2 bromo propane and wa, and that is how we get different products with. Uh, different reaction conditions in addition reactions. The last set of the addition reactions are encountered with uh, carbonyl compounds. Whenever they are present in the presence of a nucleophile, the carbonyl carbon undergoes polarization leading to the uh, addition of the nucleophile over the carbonyl carbon giving us the addition product. The most common example is addition of HCN to the carbonyl compounds. Addition reactions in carbonyl compounds is also a way of purifying them. This also we have discussed in another set of our lectures on aldehydes and ketones where we have discussed the addition reaction of carbonyl compound with sodium metabisulfide and uh, I have told that the product are crystalline white solids which can be used as a way of purifying the carbonyl compounds by reversing the reaction. These are the few examples of nucleophilic addition reaction on carbonyl compound using ammonia derivatives. The importance of these reactions are, is that these products are widely used in organic chemistry or pharmaceutical industry or in any sort of commercial purposes. They give imines, oxynes, hydrazones and semi zones. And in all these reactions, the NH2 is attacking on the carbonyl compound and we are getting the corresponding addition product. So with this, we come to an end of the part two of our lecture on reaction mechanism. And in this, we have talked about uh, the basic types of reaction, electronic displacement effects, substitution reactions, various kinds of them, nucleophilic, casile, and free radical. Similarly, we talked about elimination reactions, their mechanisms, and the competition between Markovnikov's and anti-Markovnikov's addition was also made clear. For more information on such topics such as stereochemistry, reaction mechanisms, you can follow our book by S. Chan Publishing, the link to which is given in the description box below. Please keep liking, subscribing and sharing our channel for more such videos. Thank you. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.